I would separate the decisions in, in two, two aspects. One was the strategic decision to withdraw, and the second is how that decision was implemented. Yeah. I think the strategic decision to withdraw, um, of course, people have different views on that. Uh, I've seen uh, yourself uh, post about the strategic decision. You know, I would disagree with it, but of course, it's uh, the U.S.'s decision to make uh, their own strategic calculus and decide on that. Um, I think it created the conditions for um, for the collapse, but but again, that's a that's sort of a medium term pic- picture. Um, the short term or the implementation, what I would say is, I have uh, worked and I've. Um, some people from the U.S. government are supporting me. So the individual efforts uh, by people within the U.S. government to get people out is, is, you know, is, is positive and it's re- quite remarkable. They're putting a lot of personal efforts um, to try to get people out. But, but in terms of the, the implementation framework, I think it could potentially have been better managed and thought through. As we think about this August 31 date, I mean, do you have any sense of what that is likely to mean, assuming it occurs, for um, the the majority of Afghans that have worked uh, with the Americans and the coalition um, now facing life under the Taliban? I think um, it, it's going to be challenging. Um, it's going to be very challenging for those individuals. Uh, so some some were able to be evacuated, um, and, and uh, it's positive that they can begin their new lives. Um, it's positive that the Taliban have provided an amnesty uh, for all former government officials, although we don't know to what extent that will be implemented. There have been various reports that they've continued on identifying and, and taking people um, from, from their homes. So we don't have, um, we can't validate those reports. Uh, for, for those that remain, I think um, it's going to be a quick adjustment. And, and the thing that's surprising is, again, I'm still trying to grapple with the speed of the changes happening. And I think most people in Kabul are. Just two weeks ago, they were living their lives in, in a normal basis. And uh, now they find themselves under a completely new government within the span of a few days. So it's, it's unsettling, to say the least. 